Just a quick note, LPS Sweetener is a 15-part miniseries based on the real-life pop singer Ariana Grande and her album of the same name. Each song title serves as the main theme and driving point of the storyline, which somewhat details certain events that occurred in a singer's real life. This miniseries and full movie is rated PG-13 with themes of mental health, trauma, and adult activities mildly touched upon in this story. Viewer discretion is advised. All right, how's our sweet grande girl doing right now? <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> you and your ponytail are both on point. That should do it. Team, great work. Listen, Ari, the rest of the crew are running some additional tests with the sound equipment, but that should give you enough time to rehearse before we start recording. Is that cool with you? Ari? Uh, yeah? I, I said that the rest of the crew- Yeah, I heard. It, it, it's all right. Okay, good. No need to parrot what I said then. I'll be back to you and come get you when everything gets sorted. Just stay here and chill for a bit, okay? When raindrops fell down from the sky The day you left me an angel cried She cried Excuse me, uh... What's up? Pete, I... You know, when I asked my assistant to bring me a hot grande latte, I guess he took my request literally. Uh, oh, <laughs> uh, thanks. I just... <clears throat> I just... It's been a minute. I can't believe you're here. How long has it been? Two years? Three? <laughs> yeah, it's been a minute. Hours. Days. Weeks. Oh, shoot. Well, what brings you to Record Studios? Uh, the guys wanted me to record some beats for the new SNL episode, and we're doing that here since our normal HQ's under renovation. Well, you know, who knows? Maybe while I'm here, we could record something... together? Yeah! I, I mean, sure. I mean, what are the odds that you'd appear here and we could do something like this later on? We should definitely collab. I mean, if you want to. <laughs> Ugh, gosh, sorry. I- Oh my gosh! Oh, I am so sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. I was just- Nah, you're cool. Do you need help with something? Oh, uh, yes, actually. You see, I'm a new intern here, and <laughs> it's admittedly a little difficult to navigate through the winding hallways. Could you maybe point me in the direction of the main conference room? 
Of course. Just take a second right turn from here to the elevator and go to the ninth floor. The conference room should be on the first door to your left. Oh, thanks a million. I'd better go before my boss has a fit. You got that right. Kate, did you get lost again? I mean, I practically gave you a map of the building's entire central nervous system yesterday, and you're here mingling with Pete and Ariana together. Uh, uh, p -p Pete and Ariana? Together? Oh boy, the boss will be thrilled to hear about this. Well, this has been fine and dandy. Thank you so much for helping guide my rookie friend here, but we gotta go. Come on, Kate. Oh, and a huge fan of you guys and your work, by the way. Love you. <laughs> that was great. Now, come on. What were you thinking? Casually blabbering on with the two hottest celebs today? Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> Fans. It's hard to say no to them. <laughs> well, of course, I wouldn't know what that's like. Sure, Saturday Night Live is cool and all, but I'm no heart-throbbing pop artist sensation with a top 10 album on Billboard, you know what I mean? Emphasis on heart-throbbing. Oh. <laughs> I I'm flattered, really. <sighs> there you are. The whole team's been scouring up and down the building after you went and vanished on us. Oh, oh right. Well, I, I was going to come back ASAP, but... Sorry, bro. That was on me. You were flirting with THE Pete Davidson? What? Flirting? Uh, Pete, where are you? Coming! Uh, it was a pleasure catching up, but I have to get going. See ya! Oh. Uh, uh. You know, speaking in unison doesn't really help your case. We weren't flirting. We were just catching up on things. There seems to be something between you guys. I can definitely see that. Pharrell... No matter. Did anyone see you two? Well, this one intern and her colleague, but- Oh boy. If one of those two was a journalist, then you're gonna be blazed by the biggest headlines. Which, in your magnetic demeanor, could potentially help you promote your new album and, you know, <laughs> that he knows. You know what? Never mind. Let's just go record that new song. <laughs> Good thing Mac wasn't here to see this. Yeah. Good thing. They better not make fun of this on TV. Boss! Boss! You are not gonna believe what just happened. Good afternoon, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. I'm Dodie Stellwedger. And I'm Freddie Bolson, coming to you with today's hottest news. And it's only going to get hotter today, Fred, because just days ago, a source from Record Studios reported the sighting of two of Hollywood's biggest celebs, singer-songwriter Ariana Grande and Saturday Night Live comedian Pete Davidson, engaging in some light-hearted banter. More like strong-hearted. From the looks of it, those two are getting really friendly during their discussion. Well, as juicy as the story sounds, no one knows exactly what these two fellow celebs were speaking about amidst their conversation. So we here at Channel 6 News want to hear from you guys, the fans. Do you think there's a new ship sailing on the Sea of Love, or will it be another titanic tragedy? Not to mention that Grande is currently in a relationship with rap artist Mac Miller. The media did what now? It spread that quick too. Ugh. It was probably those two women working in the studio. They snooped in on me and Pete talking the other day. Oof, that's no good. Well, I don't know what else to tell you, Ari. After slipping up like that, there ain't nothing you can do but let them sip the tea till it's unsweet. <sighs> I can help who's next in line. Oh. Welcome to Starbucks. What will it be, ladies? <clears throat> I'll take a grande cloud macchiato, please. Gotcha. And for you, ma'am? <clears throat> One venti Barbie pink frappuccino. Would have appreciated a please from a girl, but sure. Girl? What's he going on about? <sighs> Who knows? Can you believe the nerve of that barista? He expects me to show respect while his text screamed disrespect in black and white? Exactly. He was just being flat out rude. A total d- <sighs> Just because you're a girl who didn't say please, he decides to turn a 180. And did you just make up those rhymes on the spot, Nikki? Working on a beat for the new album. But you didn't hear it from me. Got it. 
Oh, and thanks again for helping me work on this new single. I... Hmm? <sighs> Once again, the Twitter burb tweets things out of proportion. Say what now? Someone, apparently a fan of mine, decided to unfollow my Twitter account because they think Mac and I are a better couple than what they see with me and Pete, whether it's been confirmed or not. But who are they to decide what I should do? How do they even know all the stuff I've been through? Yeah, preach it, girl! It's fine for people to have their own opinions, but they shouldn't try and force them. The sad truth is, opinions can't always be real. The reality is that Pete and I were just talking, and Mac and I... Well, I will... We... No need to explain, Ari. I get it. I've walked down the same road you on. One minute, I expose a player for cheating on yours truly, and then the next, the pets think, now I'm the bad guy. But the reality is, this is a cruel, uncool world we live in, in Ari. Full of cruel, uncool pets who partake in hate out of spite of our success. That may be true, but our world can be full of love if you know where to look. After all, love conquers fear and love conquers hate. If the light is coming to get back everything the darkness stole, then so be it. <laughs> I wouldn't wear that scarf if I were you, honey. Boas can make a cat like you a snake. Um, <laughs> right. Thanks for the tip, but I don't really care what you think. Maybe you don't like boas. But I happen to like this lovely piece of clothing, and if you can't appreciate that, maybe you should keep your negative opinions of others to yourself. I'm not harassing you for your choice of clothing, am I? And for all we know, scarves could be the new retro trend in a not-so-distant future. Huh? Oh, yeah, of course, sorry, I was just, um, uh, sorry, I- Ladies and gents, darkness has left the building. Nice comeback. <laughs> I'm home. Mac? <sighs> of course. Probably come, come home, home crashing on the couch tonight. Might as well make him comfortable. Ari, wake up! Mac, oh, I know you're home now, just go to bed. Ariana? What? What? Come on, let's go! We can- Wait, don't move. Okay. Okay, before you speak, I'm gonna say this as calmly as I can. What are you doing here? I mean, why are you here? I, I mean, how? Uh, is this even real? Why can't I internalize my deepest thoughts? Hey, listen, the girls on SNL have been bugging me non-stop right now, and I was wondering if you maybe wanted to hang out and see where the day takes us. 
That doesn't really answer my last question. Well, put simply, this is your dream. You have nothing to hide here. Whatever you're feeling is no secret here in REM. I guess that makes sense. But why you? How am I supposed to know? I'm a figment of your imagination. Well, in this case, a mirage of your rapid eye movement. So, what do you want to do? Well, if this is really a dream, then I guess... Um... I love you? <gasps> Shoot! No, 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 that's, that's not what I meant. Uh, that's not the way I start a conversation. Why did you do that? Because you wanted me to. How? I never said out loud that I wanted you to- That's true, but deep down, your subconscious really wanted the hug. Like I said, I'm a figment of your imagination. Here, you don't have to feel ashamed of having deep desires. <laughs> okay, okay. You can stop your playing now. As you wish. No, wait, come back! I, I meant- <sighs> Psych. I'm just kidding with you, Ari. It's your dream. We can do whatever you want. Lay your worries down. Oh, <laughs> classic Davidson. You know how much I love your jokes. Well, I love you. Uh, I guess we're dropping help homes now. So, shall we? We shall. Why did we stop? I... I think I heard some bells. Like... Wedding bells. Are we? Just listen. see you. I knew the media would gossip about our encounter eventually. Look, I feel really bad about putting both our reputations on the tabloids, and if you think it's best if we stay out of each other's way for the time being, then I won't take it personal. I can't turn back time, but the least I could do is say sorry. No, no, it's okay. Don't beat yourself up over this. Just because the media wanted to spread false rumors about us, doesn't mean we should stop hanging out. Honestly, this is kind of my fault too. If I hadn't decided to wander off before the recording session, none of this would have happened. But still, let me make it up to you. Can that start with a cup of coffee from Starducks? Hmm. Why don't I pay for your cup of coffee and we'll call it a deal? What? No way, I'm the guy. Let me cover it. <laughs> And I'm the girl, let me be the chivalrous one. <laughs> okay, okay, how about we each pay for each other's coffee to call it even? <sighs> you drive a hard bargain, Pete Davidson. But let's call it a deal. Sounds like a date. A friendly date. Uh, I mean, as in friends, setting a date and time to- uh, Never mind, <laughs> I already ruined it. Meet you at Starducks at one. already awake, but boy, you're such a dream to me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Allow me. <coughs> After you, madame. Thank you. Dang, girl! Work that tail! Woo! Is that even necessary? Hey, girly. Okay, seriously, dude. You need to chill out. Oh, sorry, Ari. I didn't mean to come across as- No, not you. I just- There were some- <sighs> Never mind. Did you order anything? Not yet. I was kind of waiting for you. Remember? We were gonna pay for each other's coffee? Right. I- 
Uh, I remember. Why don't you go first in line? I know you know how I want it. A grande caramel cloud macchiato with extra caramel, precisely. And you know how I like it too, I presume? A simple tall cup of coffee with room for cream, of course. <laughs> it's as if you're a psychic or something. See, this is the kind of girl who knows what she likes as well as others. You're a real gem, Ari. <laughs> as are you, Pete. Good afternoon, my man. What can I do you for? I'll take a grande caramel cloud macchiato with extra caramel. Of course, coming right up, good sir. So, apparently, it's okay for a guy to not say please, yet it gives him the audacity to call out Nikki for the same mistake, simply because she's a woman? Okay, your order will be ready in a few moments. Have a nice day. Thank you. Okay, what'll it be, ma'am? <clears throat> Just a tall coffee with room for cream. Please? Of course, coming right up. If that's all you're getting, that'll be three fifty-five. So, your Barbie friend couldn't make it today? What? Oh, um, no. Not this time. Eh, uh, well, I'm not surprised. A girl with that attitude may as well be better off blacklisted from these parts. Excuse me? Anyway, your order will be ready shortly. Hang on, back up a moment. What have you got against my friend? Listen, lady, it's nothing personal. But as long as I'm working here, I expect to be treated with utmost respect for my customers. As you know, we do reserve the right to refuse service at any time. I'm well aware of your policies regarding customer service, but that doesn't mean you should treat women, or any minority for that matter, as anything less than. All my friend did was forget to say please, and yet you let the guy in front of me get away with the same mistake? Sorry ma'am, as much as I would love to continue this pointless debate, you're holding up my line. Very well. If you could just loop me in with your manager so this can be settled in a civil manner. Sadly, she seems to be out for today, so I guess by default that would make me manager this establishment today. And with that, I get the final say, meaning that this conversation is over. Bye bye You know what? Cancel the order. There's a customer by the name of Karma waiting to give you a very generous tip. For the record, they want a super hot drink that will burn your fingers. Burns that will linger when you're done. And with that, as long as you and any other ignorant, patronizing pets work or dine here with this kind of service, I officially blacklist this establishment from my go-tos. And I'll be sure to use my privileged rights as a valid citizen to make sure that everyone else knows that and feels welcome anywhere. You're welcome. Ari? Ari? Ari! Pete? Pete! Oh no, your coffee! I forgot about our deal! It's okay, forget about the drinks for a sec. What happened back there? Are you okay? Not really. It's a long story. I've got time. And I couldn't just stand by and let this douchey barista walk all over me, you know? Jeez, some people can be real jerks. I'm so sorry you had to go through all that. Thanks. Maybe I could have handled the situation differently instead of causing a scene. Hey, if standing up for your basic civil rights meant sacrificing a cup of coffee, then it's totally worth it. The rest of the customers seem pretty inspired to me. Wow. You're so different from the rest of the guys I've met. <laughs> Is that a positive or a negative? Oh, 10 out of 10 a positive. You let me be all the things everyone else tells me not to be. You keep me company even after seeing me at my worst moments. You're the type of guy who appreciates anyone and everyone. Even if the forces of nature beyond our control are... Women. <laughs> I'd believe it. Goddesses exist too. Sorry, hang on a sec. Ari, you better come read this. 
I have a feeling that a certain Stardux employee is gonna get fired for unlawful discrimination. Huh. When all is said and done, karma goes around and comes around. so ridiculous. When I first saw this, I was like, um, what? The waiter taking my order is not the snack, it's the food he's serving. Oh my gosh, the number of waitresses fans thought are my girlfriend. I mean, the kinds of stories the media tells these days. I don't see a pinch of the scientific method being used, just fan testimonies with no other context. <laughs> right? I'd rather go back in time and be an MTV artist if it means keeping my face off tea spill channels. Oh my dog, yes. <gasps> we could have moonwalked with MJ! Black like a smooth criminal. <laughs> okay, that's the worst moonwalk I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad we got to hang out. You're like the sweetener to life's saltiness. What can I say? I'm a comedian slash actor by day and a candy man at night. <laughs> Oh my dog, you're killing me with these jokes. Oh, you ain't seen nothing from SNL's finest. Termites? For real? Or is this more of your random humor? I wish. My manager said the termites are invading my home and pest control has to fumigate the place overnight. I'll have to stay in a hotel, probably full of SNL fangirls banging at my door. Don't you have security guards for that? Yeah, but somehow, some way, the fangirls always manage to outsmart them. Well, at least outside of SNL headquarters. Hmm. Wait, how about you come spend the night at my place? You don't have to worry about fangirls there. What? Really? Are you sure? Of course. Let's just put it as my way of saying thank you for being there for me this week, as my good friend. I... I mean, I guess. I'm sure it'll be okay with my girlfriend, but what about your boyfriend? I wouldn't want to impose. I don't think it'll be an issue. Don't wanna wake up, I might be dreaming. I might be dreaming. You're stirring things up, my heart is beating. My heart is beating. I won't let go, I can't say no My heart is yours, so I say here we go You do that something to me, you do that something to my heart I give up, you must stop, I'm like a spinning top You do that something to me, you do that something to my heart I give up, you must stop, and I keep spinning You see right through me, do that to me You know, in hindsight, we probably should have referenced the cookbook. Where's the fun in that? Good point. <laughs> Alright, now for the moment of truth. You ready? No, but yes. <laughs> uh... Um... So, your thoughts? Well, the splendor of this texture speaks for itself, with a unique overabundance of saccharin. Oh, how uh, posh. But be honest, 
as long as you insist, then this is probably the sweetest cake I've ever tasted, and I hate it. <laughs> I know, I just wanted you to admit it. You don't have to sugarcoat your opinions with me. Speaking of sugar, what are we gonna do with the rest of this failed confection? Oh, to lose? <laughs> Problem solved? Good thing we used vegan ingredients. This is a lot of fun today, Ari. What an unfantastic way to unwind. What? Get it? Unfan? No fans bothering us? Oh, <laughs> that's so cheesy! You said I don't have to sugarcoat anything with you. Ergo, I can't sugarcoat my cheese. <laughs> okay, that's a Gouda point. But yeah, I agree. I think we both needed this. Well, with that said and done, how's life going for you? Salty. With a dollop of sweetness. Okay, so the chorus is meant to be a literal allusion to kitchen folly. Then maybe we can add some baking metaphors for the verses. So is the folly supposed to involve normal kitchen utensils or the process of baking? Now that you mention it, baking implies a more docile undertone, but I can throw it off with some sassy lyrics. Good idea, Pharrell. Oh, then we may want to change this to a low key from the pre-chorus to really sell the effect. <laughs> you know, I admire your thought process, Ari. Salty with a hint of sweetness. Oh, your album could be like a uh, Maroon 5 song sugar, <laughs> 2.0. <laughs> and with that, we've completed today's writing session. What's next on the agenda? Well, let's see. Uh, all that's left is your photo shoot for the new album cover, and then you've got to fly to New York for an interview on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Talon. Excellent. Wait, now? You don't, you don't want to take a break? You're joking, right? We've barely worked an hour and you're suggesting that I take a break? This, my career, everything I've worked so hard for is nothing like an ordinary job. I'm on a roll, in the zone, and I can't seem to stop. It's important that we use that energy to our advantage, while I'm still young and able to have fun. So are we going to waste this opportunity, or are we going to jump on it? Well, um... <laughs> well, well, by, by break, I meant for like a short coffee break. Like, Starducks. Oh, oh, definitely. <laughs> Starducks is the only exception. Oh, this is co-producer life, huh? And it's too late to turn away now. This town's so lame, I'm feeling so wired. It's 4 a.m., I'm not even tired. We're in your car, we can drive away. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all to a situation or to someone else's life or somebody else who brings light to your life or sweetening the situation. Fascinating. Great. Well, maybe you could tell us a little more about the songs you're writing for your album. Okay. Well, why not? How about I just tell you guys everything then? <laughs> 
Okay, so another song that we wrote that's also kind of an intro is called Raindrops. And then there's another one called R.E.M. Wow, Raindrops and R.E.M. <laughs> okay, you're just spilling all the tea about your new album to the audience today. Oh, there's more. Ariana? Pete? What are you... in my break room? I was waiting for you to come back from your photo shoot. <sighs> Didn't think it would take you long to finish. Oh... oh no, Pete, right? I forgot to cancel our hangout because of the interview. I'm so... Apology accepted. I get it. Festies before besties, right? Cheesy, but yeah, that's one way to put it. Oh, actually, I, I got some news. Oh, well, it's more of a surprise, so... Here, cover your eyes with this. <laughs> okay. What is it? You can only imagine. I'm so excited. Come on. What's so special you need to cover my eyes for? You really want to know? Yes. Are you ready? I was ready five minutes ago. Just do it. Okay, you can take off the blindfold. Yo, that's probably the most gorgeous picture of you to date. And it's upside down. <laughs> Thanks. Actually, the surprise is that you are the very first person in existence outside of my team to see the official cover art for my new album. Uh, hold up. What? Surprise! Yes! I've never had this opportunity in my whole lifetime! <laughs> easy! Easy! Oh, congrats, Ari! That's awesome! I'm, I'm so proud of you. But why me? If anyone was gonna see your album cover first, it could have been your friend Aaron, your brother, or even Mac. Let's just say that those three were already checked off my list in the past. But why, though? Really? What makes me so special? You kidding? You're already so special and you don't even know it. You may not believe it, but I do. Now that's cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Ari. I love the way you make me feel every day. I love you too, babe. You're my everything. But... But what? I... I... Ma'am? Ma'am? Oh, yes? Can I take your order? Right. Um, could I just start with a green salad? No problem. I'll be right back. Ari, are you feeling alright? You've been giving us a lot of blank stares since we arrived. What's on your mind? Okay, okay, I know, just please don't hate me for this. What do you mean? Why would you think that? It's about Mac. Oh girl, you got it bad! Oh boy. You broke up with him, right? Please say you've sunk the ship. You are so much better than that light switch. See, here's the thing. Look, I understand your concerns, and... The reason he's crossing my mind is because... We broke up. Really? Like, for real this time? Well, of course, I'm so over him. We've both been keeping a low profile since it happened, so I'd appreciate it if you didn't say anything till we make it public. Of course, we understand. These things are just never easy. Sisters before misters, am I right, ladies? <laughs> yeah. Only it were that easy. Hey, babe, where'd you run off to? I should be the one asking you that question. You were supposed to be attending an interview hours ago. 
And the producer called in saying he had to cancel due to a certain no-show. Well, that's too bad. When life goes on, there's bound to be disappointment. You could have at least called ahead in advance saying you want to cancel, not go MIA and expect everyone else to do it for you. Like you do all the time. Excuse me? I am an excellent manager of Father Time, if I do say so myself. Well, if you're so confident, why don't you make some sort of time for your own girlfriend? Instead of bailing to go out for drinks with your guy friends five times a week and making me look like the idiot without her plus one. Hey, I've got my own schedule too, you know. You're just not willing to sync yours in with mine. Just days ago, a source from Record Studios reported the sighting of two of Hollywood's biggest celebs, singer-songwriter Ariana Grande and Saturday Night Live comedian Pete Davidson, engaging in some lighthearted banter. Oh no. And now, I know why. Well, Mac, don't be like that, we're just friends. You know how the media tends to blow things out of proportion? Well then, I guess that's something you and the news have in common now. I should have known something was going on. These past few months you've been acting so differently around me. I'm the only one who's been acting differently? You're the one who chooses to engage in self-destructive behavior as a coping mechanism! Don't you even try to use that crap against me! You know it's hard for me to stop! <sighs> I can't help it, okay? Maybe nothing really changed at all. We profess our love and never show it. We drop the yell bombs and spew out insults. There's something really wrong here. And I've tried to support you and your struggles for all this time. And you repay me by flirting with another dude? Quit the accusations, Malcolm. He's just a friend. I've already told you. How many times must I shout into the void before you'll finally believe me? Ugh, that's just the problem with you. I am so tired of your controlling attitude. My attitude? I was already tired of your no-shows even before you decided to bring this up. This lack of compassion, the fighting, the fling, and all this for what? Oh, let me guess. Still wallowing about what happened your last concert? <sighs> Get over yourself, would ya? I'm leaving. Where are you going now? Clearly, you need some space. I'm gonna stay with my brother until you come to your senses. Fine! Be that way! You're the one that's all messed up. Idiot! Hello? Frankie, it's me. This may sound a little sudden. Uh, can I come crash at your place tonight? Sure, no problem. Are you okay? Honestly, not really. Look, it's a long story. I'll tell you when we get home. Okay, I'm on my way. See you in 20 minutes. Thanks, Frankie. Bye. Every time. Why do we keep coming back to you? Is everything okay? I heard a crash and- Ari? Ari? What's wrong? Talk to me. I can't. Okay, okay. Ari, look at me. You know what this is. Breathe in for four seconds. Hold it for seven seconds. Then breathe out in eight seconds. Good, good. Now just keep breathing. I'll be right back. I 
couldn't get a gulp of breath. The room was spinning. I felt my blood running. I felt the sky was falling. It felt like looking at a different person. Like I wasn't completely there. I know, Ari. I know. It's like the worst feeling in the world. <laughs> hey, hey, it's okay. It's just the neighbors taking out the trash. <sighs> at one in the morning? They tend to have late night routines. Hey, you're safe, you're home, and you're with me. Nothing's gonna hurt you here. That's not entirely true. Remember? Well, if you want my honest opinion, you shouldn't be surrounding yourself with people who constantly belittle you. Right. Well, it's easier said than done. Especially when it's a person you truly care about. Normally on those nights when I couldn't breathe, he... You don't have to explain. You're an adult. You know what's best for you, and no one can take that away. I was only trying to look out for you. Isn't that what big brothers are for? Half brother. Ouch. <laughs> hey, try to get some rest. If there's anything else you need, I'm right next door to your guest room. Okay. Thanks, Frankie, for looking out for me. scare you. You've got to stop doing that. Surprising you? No! Sneaking into my dressing room. It's really creeping me out. What are you talking about? I got a text from you this morning saying you wanted to see me. What? Oh, right. I, I did do that. But judging from your startled reaction, now this doesn't seem to be the best time. And I should probably leave. No! No! I'm actually glad you're here. Really. I, I so, I'm I'm really glad you're Hey, 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 look at me. Right at me. Here, name five things you can see in this room. Right. Um you obviously. Um the, the, the couch, D dangerous woman poster, a chair and a dressing table. You mean the shelves? Right, I meant shelves. I was thinking of my house. Okay, now four things you can touch. Right, um, well, you, your scarf. I'm sorry, this is probably weirding you out. No, it's okay. Keep going. <clears throat> okay, uh, this rug and my ponytail. All right, good. Now three things you can hear. Well, you, again. Um, the AC. Oh, and Toulouse. <laughs> now, two things you can smell. My perfume. Your cologne. And finally, one thing you can- My dog, my dog. I didn't mean to. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I ruined it. I ruined it. I ruined it. I ruined the moment. I, I ruined my relationship. I ruined the concert. I ruined everything. What? No, you didn't ruin anything. You're just saying that. You weren't there when the attack happened. All of those people in Manchester just wanted to enjoy my music. But none of them came out of that building the same. And some of them never came out of that building again. And I couldn't do anything to stop it. You're right. I wasn't there when the accident happened. But the least I could do was listen. Can't even imagine the kind of trauma you had to deal with. 
Come here. <laughs> you know, for some reason, after talking to you about what happened, I... Shoot! They don't know you're here! Quick, hide in this closet! You're the boss, Oz. <sighs> Miss Grande? Hey, is everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just can't breathe and need some air. Okay, well, we're still gonna have to write this song. You think you're up to it? I mean, I still can't breathe, but we'll write it. Tell Pharrell I'll be back in five. Will do. Hey, is it safe to come out yet? Yes it is, Pete. Coast is clear. <sighs> Could have warned me that this was a food storage unit and not a closet. Oh, right. You didn't happen to steal any chocolate bars while you were in there, did you? Maybe. But on to more important affairs. I know you're busy, so I won't take up too much of your time. Care for some Starducks after the recording sesh? I could use some downtime. Yeah, why not? Cool. Coffee's on me. <laughs> um, look. About that kiss- Hey, it's okay. For both of our sakes, and everyone's sanity, we can just pretend it never happened. And move on with our lives. I mean, you understand it was an in-the-moment thing and not- Yeah, no prob. But I'm not gonna stand in your way. You've got a song you need to write. Right. And for your information, I'm leaving this room on my own terms. I'm an independent woman who's got her own schedule. And don't even think about it, Pete. What? I was just making sure the food safe was locked. Mm-hmm. What? I really was. Dang, she really knows me well. Boy to lose. <laughs> hey. Hey, you got my text. Sorry that I changed plans last minute. It's all good. I wasn't really feeling the vibe for Starducks anyway. Plus, they're all out of breakfast sandwiches. <laughs> Come on, sit down. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Is this weird? What's weird? That you wanted me to come with you? No. This. All of this. Everyone here is happy. Everything is fine. But I'm... Not. You're not happy? I... I'm in this state of mind right now. Like, my nervous system died or something. Even when your life is full of privileges and opportunities and you're expected to be grateful for the things going right, you... you just feel... nothing. Yeah, that makes sense. After everything that's happened, what you're feeling is completely valid. And it can take some time to heal. I don't know. It's been almost a year, and I've been having these panic attacks many times before, but the flashbacks, they're really draining the feels right out of me. Don't even know how to finish the album at this rate, let alone another song. So, that's it? 
you're just gonna give up on yourself, your fans? No, of course not. Well then, that says something about you. That persistence, your devotion to yourself, your work, and the people around you. You're a fighter, Ari. A true warrior. A warrior with survivor's guilt. So, what next? What do you want to do now? I want to be positive and talk about positivity and love. I've got no tears left to cry. Huh, the well is dry? Not even one drip? Sorry, we ran out here at Ariana's Tear Duck Center. Oh, darn. Do you have anything else on the menu? Hmm, well, we do also have a slice of love with a pinch of color, with our recommended sides of common sense and empathy. Neat. Any known side effects? Side effects include the colonic cleansing of hate and ignorance. Wow. Color and colonic cleansing? With that elevator pitch, you just sold me a double helping. <laughs> <laughs> pass it to me! Pass it to me! Go! Ow! <gasps> Tag, you're it! <laughs> so, have you heard? Uh, about what? They're holding a vigil in the town square to honor the lives that were lost in Manchester. Oh, uh... But if you can't bring yourself to go, that's fine too. There's no rush. <sighs> okay. But I want you to come with me too. And we'll probably need disguises. Come on, it's this way. showed up. It's more than I thought it would be. Hey, look. Over there. <gasps> Excuse me? Are you okay? Oh, uh, I... I don't really know, honestly. Are you sad? Yes, but I, I'm also happy. How can you be both sad and happy? Oh, well, the best way I can describe it is that while I'm sad for the lives that were taken too soon, I'm also happy to see everyone coming together, picking up from the dark, with love and unity in their hearts. This way, these people, Georgina, Liam, Sorrel, Lil Savvy, and among many others, are never completely gone. They will always live on through us, remembering them, telling their stories, and standing up against hate and injustice. Then I guess I feel the same way. Oh, uh, I want you to have this. For me? I couldn't. It's okay. It makes me happy when my friends feel happy. Honey, where are you? Thank you for giving me hope, Ariana. Huh? Wait! How did you know my... How did she... Huh. I did not see that coming. It was either a poor disguise, or she must have been a mega fan of yours. Thanks for bringing me here, Pete. In fact, I think I now know how to continue the album.
Ariana. Wait. There. Oh, Max. Good evening. Morning, Ariana. What? What time is it? It's morning already? Were you up all night? I mean, you must be exhausted after pulling an all-nighter to write- The new song? It's done! It just came to me out of nowhere, and one minute later I was in the zone, as they say. Actually, this is pretty impressive. The lyrics and tune flow eloquently in harmony. My only concern is your messy calligraphy during the final chorus. Does this say we on another mentality or we on about manatees? Oh, I may have fallen asleep once or twice midway through writing. It's the former, just so I'm clear. Okay, why don't you take the day off while me and the other writers look over the song? Your point? <sighs> okay. Fine. I could use a pick-me-up. Don't do anything too wild. <laughs> wild. P? It's Ari. What do you say? Me? You? A bit of your time for an ice cream date? Ice cream date, huh? Oh! Not like a date date per se, just a fun outing as friends, but only if you want to. It's 6 a.m. and you woke me up from my peaceful slumber to ask if I want ice cream for breakfast. What makes you think I want to? Uh, I... I'm waiting. Depends? Are you mad? Yes. Oh gosh, Pete, I'm so- Mad that you didn't text me earlier. Oh, so you're not upset? Well, duh! <laughs> Okay, do you want the ice cream, or are you just gonna keep laying in bed playing hard to get? <laughs> okay, okay, you got me. Come on, you know you want to. One second. Pete? Hello? Go kiddos. Uh, never had customers come for ice cream this early, but appreciate the business. Hmm. Whoa. Now this is a childhood dream come true. <laughs> I told you. Once you've tasted the ice cream from Hollywood's finest, you won't ever want to leave. Mm. Once again, you have excellent taste. You're one of a kind, Ari. Aw. Excuse me, could I get a second round of your finest ice cream? Oh, double scoop this time. Oh, sure thing, son. <laughs> all right. I gotta say, in all my years of dating, I've never had an early morning ice cream date. Uh, oh, is, is that a good thing, or- Well, you can't call it a party until you bring in the ice cream. Oh. Um, by the way, uh, sorry, I shouldn't have used the D word. No, you're fine. I'm glad you were able to come, either way. So, I hope I'm not coming on too strong with this topic, but if you don't mind me asking, how are things with Mac? I haven't heard from the guy in a while. Uh, right. Well, I... I need to take this phone call. Excuse me. Uh, I'm gonna be calling me this early. Hello? Ari, baby, so good to hear you. Uh, Missy, hey, what are you doing calling me so early? Girl, if you were asleep, you should have let it ring. <laughs> right, well, lucky for you, Hollywood's finest ice cream shop is currently on my agenda. Actually, now that I've got you on the line, maybe you could help me out. So what do you say? Meet me at the nail salon for Manny Petties at one? All right, now where were... Yes, you were saying? <laughs> Gross, okay. I think that's enough. Aw oh, man, but I was just warming up. Or rather, <laughs> the opposite. So, who was the early riser that called you? <laughs> None other than Missy Elliot. And you know what? 
Phoning a friend may just be the key to finishing my album. So what you're saying is that you want me to help you out with your brand new album? Yeah, pretty much. I know it's a big ask, but I've been such a fan of your work for years, and I think you might bring a breath of fresh air to what the album really needs. Oh, well, of course, Ari. I'd be honored. Really? Wow, thank you so much. Oh, no problem, Ari. Now, were there any themes you had in mind for the song? Uh, yeah. Well, I did have this one idea. Okay, you're all done. All of your nails have been painted. Now you just need to wait here for the next 15 to 20 minutes until they dry. All right, thanks so much. So, what is it? Hmm? The theme you had in mind? Oh, right. The theme. Um, well, it's... Um, well, it's... Oh, I take it you don't have a theme in mind? No, I, I do have a theme in mind. It's... I just don't know how people are gonna take it. Oh no, Ari, you can't be that bad. Try me. Right. Well, how do I say this? You know the song Meet Me Halfway by the Black Eyed Peas? That's my current situation. Oh, is that all? I haven't necessarily crossed that line yet, but you could say that another person has crossed the line to make me want to cross my own line. Not that I want to, of course. I just want them to know that I want to, you know? Mm, yeah, I can see where this is going. And that's why I'm hesitant about writing it. Hesitant? The Ariana Grande is hesitant? The Ari I knew wouldn't hesitate to jump at the opportunity. Forget about the things that could happen and focus on what you want to happen. Now, what do you want? What I want? is to finish the song and finish the album. Who's the wifey type? Me. Who's one of a kind? Me. Who's your boyfriend? Pete. Oh, no, 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 I, I mean Mac. No, it's Mac, not Pete. W why would my boyfriend be Pete? That doesn't make any sense. Ari, it's okay. I'm not here to judge. It would be a problem if Mac knew. I admit, I do have feelings for Pete, but, but I can understand the race of emotions that stem from those experiences. It can be hard to break something off, especially when you anticipate the worst from those around you. I know it's easier said than done, but the longer you let things like these slide, the harder it'll be to heal from them. And the harder it'll be to wake up from this nightmare. You took the words right out of my mouth. Hey, crazy question, but is that why you called me this morning? Well, I guess you could say that. I only just returned from my vacation when I saw your face on the local tabloids. Feel free to not give me an answer if this makes you uncomfortable, but... Do you like Pete? I can't stop thinking about him during the day, or dream about him at night. More than anything, I want to be with him, to hold him, to spend the rest of my life with him, but... My history with Mac is making the situation more complicated than I thought. I've been putting it off for so long, and after everything that happened in Manchester, it gave me an excuse to put it off longer. Just like how I've been putting off this song, let alone the album. Which is why I am more than happy to help you write a song for this album. Wait, what? An entire song? No way, Missy. I can't let you do that. That's too much to ask. Hey, hey, Ari. It's okay. Consider it my thank you treat for supporting me and my work all these years. Oh my gosh, I I don't know how many thank yous I can give to express the level of gratitude I have right now. Don't mention it. Hey, if you're free, we can go and grab some dinner later tonight. Oh, oh, do you think we could take a rain check for this weekend instead? Oh, no problem, Ari. You got plans? Yeah, I do. I'm going to do what I should have done. A long time ago. Hurry. 
Where have you been? You haven't been home for days, and I, I tried to call, but you wouldn't pick up. Mac, we need to talk. I don't get it. Why didn't you feel comfortable talking about this before? It was easier back then to put these topics to bed. You'd get high, and I'd steer clear of any headaches to start. Under the influence, you wouldn't listen. Kept insisting I listen to your propositions, your ideas. When sober, you were traveling a ton. And so did I. What we have, you kept me in orbit, yet we were so distant. Hey, that was all on me. My own problems. You had nothing to do with my busy schedule. Exactly. Beyond our busy schedules, there's shouldering the baggage from our past. And it's a problem when you're invested in my issues more than your own. That's not always true, though. I have may have made some mistakes, but I'll do one better. I can come back on drinking and smoking, cancel some plans, if it'll help smooth out the rough edges. I... I know I've made these promises before, but it'll be different this time. Mac... If I'm doing it for anyone, I'm doing it for you. For us. You are my everything, Ari. And you're mine. But healing starts with you. And I don't want to be in the way of that. Same goes for the other way around, too. If I'm being honest, it's probably best if I leave the picture completely. What are you saying? You think we should break up? That's the hard part. To admit that this, us, can't work when we're not done fighting the battles against ourselves. I'm better off not being around you. Well, it's been nice knowing ya. I wish you all the best, Ari, wherever your career takes you. Thank you. See you around, Mac. Welcome back, I'm Dodie Stellwedger. And I'm Freddie Bolsom, coming to you with the latest news of yesterday and today. That's right, and recently one tweet from pop sensation Ariana Grande has rocked the fandom to its core, confirming the singer's breakup with rap artist Mac Miller, her then-boyfriend of two years. This news came shortly after a recent report identifying Miller in a car crash, receiving a DUI with a measured blood alcohol level of 0.15, twice the legal limit. From there, a barrage of tweets holding Grande accountable for the crash blew up in a firestorm all over social media, when multiple sources reported that the female pop artist moved on and began casually dating Saturday Night Live comedian Pete Davidson. Okay, now that's enough news for one night. Hey, look, I'm probably the last guy you want advice from. Objectively, I know. My body says otherwise. We... we were never in the same room longer than 30 minutes, let alone a bed. Ari... Frankie, you don't have to pity me. I'll be fine now, really. You can just say goodnight and go. Well... <sighs> If you insist. It's getting kind of late for me anyway. Good night, sis. Good night. Drive safe. I will, don't worry. You better text mom on what's been up or we won't hear the end of it. At least I won't. Yes, Frankie. <sighs> Why'd you have to be so cute?
Again. Welcome back to Earth, Miss Grande. Oh, excuse me. I was trying to gather more song lyrics during my interstellar travel. Hmm. Speaking of which, as long as we're belting out original lyrics, what if we added a sample of the song Good Night and Go by Imogen Heap? Did someone just say Imogen Heap? Because I like where this is going. Victoria, you made it! <laughs> Thanks for agreeing to help write the song. Girls, say no more. I can already envision seeing you belt out the notes in black and white. Oh boy, this remix is gonna be fire. So anyway, and take notes guys. I was thinking we could mix in your own melodies for the bridge. You know, make it your own without comprising the integrity of the OG. My thoughts exactly, like this isn't just a cover, but a second life as it pertains to both the movie. sugarcoat anything with you. Ergo, I can't sugarcoat my cheese. <laughs> okay, that's a good point. Yes! I've never had this opportunity in my whole lifetime! <laughs> easy, easy. <laughs> Congrats, Ari. That's awesome. I'm so proud of you. You're just gonna give up? No, of course not. That says something about you. That persistence, your devotion, to yourself, your work, and the people around you. You're a fighter, Ari. A true warrior. <laughs> I told you, once you've tasted the ice cream from Hollywood's finest, you won't ever want to leave. Mm. Once again, you have excellent taste. You're one of a kind, Ari. Train! Wait! Stop! Stop! Wait for me! Oh no, missed it. I guess I'll just have to wait for the next one then. I'm sorry, sir. That was the last train for that destination until tomorrow. T t tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow at 8. Until then, we have some hotels nearby that you can stay in. Oh, uh, well, thanks anyway. No problem, sir. You have a good night now. Places to go. Ari. Okay, well, we gotta make it quick. It's really late and super cold out. Oh, 
Hey. Pete. Hey. Hey. How serendipitous, huh? What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be on the train to Las Vegas by now? Well, I was supposed to be, but... Funny story short, I... I missed my train. Oh, really? How did that happen? Another funny story. I was exhausted from work and kind of dozed off into a daydream, which then became a full-on dream by itself. Details aside, I pretty much slept through my scheduled train time, and now the conductors are saying there won't be another train to Vegas until tomorrow morning. Your apartment was on my way back, and I thought I'd stop by and say... <laughs> hey. At 10 p.m.? Which leads to another matter, being that it's so late, I don't feel comfortable taking an Uber given that- Well, now that you mention it, it's pretty cold out tonight. Do you want to come in and maybe I can boil you some tea? Tea? Well, it does sound tempting, but no, I wouldn't want to impose. All I want to do is check in. Don't be silly, it's fine. I've got no other plans and I'm home alone for the evening. It'll be nice catching up with a fellow friend. Honestly, I can't sleep anyway. Ah! Hey, Toulouse, stop! Oh gosh, so sorry. Toulouse, down. <laughs> no, no, it's fine, really. <laughs> Guess I can't win this argument when there's a begging cricket. <laughs> Wow. Another great day with you well spent. Well, night. <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way. The universe really had my back. Yeah, me too. Hey, did I ever tell you the real reason why I was gonna hop on that train? Well, now that you mention it, no. What were you gonna do? Well, if I'm being completely honest, I don't know what I was gonna do over there. Probably a change of scenery, some sort of distraction, what with all the change that's been happening. Change? Yeah. I guess you could say that things with me and Kazzy didn't really work out the way they planned. I mean, one minute you're in the honeymoon phase, and then the next minute you're not seeing eye to eye on everything like you hoped. Oh wow, Pete, I'm really sorry. No, no, it's okay. Don't worry about me. I don't even know why I'm dumping this on you, considering that you're going through your own heartbreak. Oh, yeah, right. I forgot about that. Oh, wow, that was fast. <sighs> Looks like the goddess of love was not on our side tonight, huh? <sighs> yeah, for both of us. Who would have thought, right? Exactly. There is no better place or time like this one. I've been going through a really rough time these past few days, but I'm really glad you came here. <sighs> yeah, me too. <sighs> I'm actually kind of glad I missed my train. You were such a dream to me. <sighs> me too. Uh, what was that?
Hey Ari, the pilot told us that we'd be leaving for Florida in 20. Will you be okay? Hey, come here. Take it easy. I'll come get you when the jet's ready. Broken. From the bottom of my heart, I'm so, so sorry. I don't have words. Hey, Ari. Dalton, what are you doing here? Not much. I'm on my lunch break, and since your lunch break is approaching... Sure thing. I'll be done in five minutes. Oh, just in time, too. Would you do me a favor and put this album art in my portfolio for me? Sure thing, babe. Thanks. You're the best. Wow. Who's the gorgeous lady in this photo? She looks amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm serious, she looks like my wife, but I can't put my paw on it. Hey, uh, where's your portfolio exactly? Oh, bottom drawer on your right. Thanks. Oh, here it is. Thanks again. This is probably one of the most important singles I've worked on for this album, and I can't lose my train of thought. All right, I think I got it, and oh, hello. <laughs> hey, Ari, look what I found. Whoa, I almost forgot about this. <sighs> Babe, it's upside down. <laughs> okay, now you're just doing this to be annoying. <laughs> well, that finally caught your attention. Well, thanks for returning me to Earth, but you also caught my attention away from the zone. Wow, it almost feels like yesterday we worked on this album. So much has changed since then. Ups and downs, drops and all. I've been looking for you everywhere. You're missing the party at the sound booth. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there soon. I just uh, came out for a breath of fresh air. This whole album release party is putting my nervous system into overdrive, so I thought I'd come out here and ground myself where the mud is. Was that a casual reference you made just now? <laughs> this past year has been quite a journey. After what happened in Manchester, I felt like I was floating away from Earth for three months. It's taken so long and so much for me to just feel okay with everything happening right now. And this closing track is for everybody. It's my way of musically giving them a hug. Everyone has some sort of baggage to carry around with them their whole lives. Even me. But we're stronger when we get through it together. I hope it comforts people who hear it. It will, Ari. I know it will. And if it doesn't, then, hey, at least one person here does. <laughs> Is it you? No, but uh, also yes. <laughs> okay, I get it. <laughs> so, are you ready to come back down? Yeah, I'll be there. No way I'm missing out on this party. <laughs> Man, I love this girl. Now, when's that ring gonna ship? My heart, prayers, and deepest condolences are with the victims of the Manchester attack and their loved ones. There is nothing I or anyone can do to take away the pain you are feeling or to make this better. However, I extend my hand and heart and everything I possibly can give to you and yours, should you want or need my help in any way. The only thing we can do now is choose how we let this affect us and how we live our lives from here on out. I've been 
thinking of my fans and of you all non-stop over the past week. The way you have handled all of this has been more inspiring and made me more proud than you'll ever know. The compassion, kindness, love, strength, and oneness that you've shown one another this past week is the exact opposite of the highness intentions it must take to pull off something as evil as what happened during the attack. You are the opposite. I'm sorry for the pain and fear you must be feeding and for the trauma that you, too, must be experiencing. We will never be able to understand why events like this take place because it is not in our nature, which is why we shouldn't recoil. We will not quit or operate in fear. We won't let this divide us. We won't let hate win. I don't want to go the rest of the year without being able to see and hold and uplift my fans the same way they continue to uplift me. Our response to this violence must be to come closer together, to help each other, to love more, to sing louder and to live more kindly and generously than we did before. From the day we started putting the Dangerous Woman Tour together, I said that this show, more than anything else, was intended to be a safe space for my fans. A place for them to escape, to celebrate, to heal, to feel safe, and to be themselves. To meet their friends that they made online, to express themselves. This will not change that. When you look into the audience at my shows, you see a beautiful, diverse, pure, Thousands of people, incredibly different, all there for the same reason, music. Music is something that everyone on earth can share. Music is meant to heal us, to bring us together, to make us happy. So that is what I will continue to do for us. We will continue in honor of the ones we lost, their loved ones, my fans, and all affected by this tragedy. They will be on my mind and in my heart every day, and I will think of them with everything I do for the rest of my life. Ari, it's time. You ready? Right, let's go. Come on. Hey, whatever comes next, we'll face it together. We're a team. In the words of Will Smith, this is the story all about how your life got twist turned upside down. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Ari, do you want us to order our usual at Starducks? That sounds perfect. <laughs> Great. Just call me on the phone when you're done, okay? Don't worry, I will. I'll be there.